Hello everyone and welcome to Lakeburg Legacies and what a joy it is to be back with this game after all this time. I really was waiting since the demo up until now for the game to release and it's finally releasing tomorrow. I've managed to get myself a review code a little bit early and but I was always going to play this game. I was always going to come back and do a full series on this game because I, I really enjoyed it at the time. If you're unfamiliar with Lakeburg Legacies it's a kind of town city builder uh, but with a lot of kind of uh, love and romance, but also uh, shared love of public executions, kittens, and um, you know divorces, affairs, the whole works. But like, if Crusader Kings was a town, um, a town builder. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, we're going to be playing on the pretty basic settings here in terms of game duration, game style, economy, and uh, illicit trade and service buildings, which we'll get to. Uh, I don't think we need the tutorial. We had a great time last time, and oh, it's so good to be back. It's basically a lot, we basically need to use our love matchmaking to create an excellent, excellent uh, city with excellent people who are excellent to their jobs. Um, but everyone has different traits, everyone has different, different likes, different dislikes. And for example, that means we need to ensure that people who like certain things, such as kittens or public executions, get matched with other people who like kittens or public executions. And then people who don't like each other uh, don't get mixed together. But of course, Anything can change. Uh, love is in the eye of the beholder. And things can definitely change for the better or for worse when people have affairs and divorces and all such things. And of course, once one generation gets too old, you start with a new generation. And that is a really exciting concept to me. So I'm really looking forward to this. And here we go. Who's our first person? We have Sigisbert Lightfoot, who's unemployed. And he is a pretty good lumberjack. He's also a pretty good mason. And he's a man of the evening. Interesting. Man of the evening, I'm suggesting that's probably a lady of the night, probably an escort or a prostitute. Uh, lumberjack and a mason. Well, we need a lumberjack in the lumberjack lodge, so let's get him in there. We'll get Sigisbert in there. And we can get time moving along slowly while we get things moving. Uh, we've got a homeless villager, so we probably need some wood for a house. While that's happening on, he's going to start collecting some wood for us. We probably need to find him a match. Because that means we can get him a wife or potentially a husband. And that will allow us to get ourselves a child down the line. Potentially a really good child, or potentially a bad one, depending on the stats that we get for them. So, this lady here, uh, Odilin, she... They both have muscles, but they don't quite agree on feasting. So I don't think they're quite the right fit, so I'm going to say no. Um, Ar Arthurus here, he likes muscles, but I think we can do a little bit better than that. But he is also a lumberjack, which would be useful, because then we can have two lumberjacks... And there, then, although he does, he only has one eye. Hmm. I think we'll actually take him and see how that goes. Uh, I can't quite, actually quite remember what they had with each other in terms of what they enjoy. Uh, Sigisbert and Arthurus both enjoy the pale moonlight. This unique moment allows them to get them to know each other better. Do they talk about the latest tr uh, clothing trends, or minstrels disturb the peace and tranquility of the neighbourhood? I think they talk about minstrels. Okay, Arthurus would be happier if there were no minstrels, absolutely. <laughs> he doesn't like music. Uh, let's continue this charming rendezvous with a nice bottle. Um, they're both spending time in the inn, enjoying some drink. Will the warm atmosphere help them with the ice? Share the recipe for aniseed lollipops, or how about attending the next public execution together? There's a real tendency to um, focus on public executions in this game. I think they're going to talk about lollipops, and I see lollipops. Although Arthurus doesn't doesn't like that because of risk of tooth decay. So we've got one out of two correct at the moment. How about I go for a nice boat ride to the lake? Sigisbert and Arthurus are enjoying a boat ride. Uh, big muscles, they both like muscles from memory. No? I thought you liked muscles. So Arthurus didn't get on particularly well there. Thankfully it's still a match. Excellent. Although their love meter is pretty low. Uh, we're going to get them married, but we probably could turn a little bit better there. What we will do once we get enough wood is we will get them 
We'll get Arthurus into the Lumberjacks Lodge as well. Oh. <laughs> they already seem to be in a loveless marriage. It's not ideal. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, Sigisbert is, is a little bit... Has not got the best traits here. He's ill-mannered, he's depressive, and he's just a rather simple man as well. Whereas uh, Arthurus is shy, but he's also funny and brave. So Arthurus is a bit more interesting than um, Sigismut, but that's okay. So I'm intrigued to see what... They kind of... Actually, I suppose they kind of complement each other. If one's funny, one's depressive, it kind of balances itself out. So the first thing we need to do is get some wood. We've got a little bit of wood, but we could probably do with a little bit more. For the time being, let's build them a house, because they'll be a lot happier there. And Sigisbert can go in there. There's a little bit of a chance of a baby. Only 6%. Not a huge amount. We can also just like buy a baby, but that takes a lot more time. As things are just getting started, let's speed up time. Let's see what arrives. I'd like to get Arthurus into the Lumberjack's Lodge as well. Uh, Sigisbert was taking a walk in the forest around Lakeburg when he found mushrooms, the likes of which he'd never seen before. And they looked delicious. Be both curious and gourmet, Sigismund wanted to have a taste. Oh, I don't want to give him the coward trait, but eating mushrooms in the forest is not always a good idea. The mushrooms didn't have a good taste, perhaps they should have been cooked first. Either way, Sigismund didn't have time to wander. The world started spinning and colours became strange. When he turned around, he came face to face with a leprechaun. We can either get frail and inspired, or we can scream. Hello? Sigisbert was very much intrigued. He didn't know leprechauns really existed. This one seemed very nice indeed. Sigisbert crouched down and reached out for the small creature, which approached him shyly. Sigisbert scratched his head and found its hair surprisingly soft. Oh, it was a squirrel. And the ground stopped moving. Uh, what happened? <laughs> oh, life expectancy is not very good. That was not a great start for Sigisbert. Uh, he's not doing particularly well here. We might need to <laughs> we might need to do a little bit better next time. Uh, that being said, they do seem to be infatuated with each other, which is definitely progress because you may not have long to live, Sigisbert. So let's do the best we can <laughs> before things go terribly, terribly wrong. Okay, let's we can speed up time a little bit more here. And soon we can probably get our next building up. We can get a farm. Let's just slow down time. I'd like to get Arthurus in and then we can build the farm, I think. So the farm only... We can construct pretty much straight away, I believe. So that requires 30 wood. Before that, I'm going to chuck Arthurus in here because he's a good lumberjack as well. Uh, there's a good work ambience because, you know, they, they are married so hopefully you know they're gonna be okay and during that time let's speed up time and we can get some more wood coming in now there's two of them in there we can the production will start increasing quite a lot which is wonderful so let's build ourselves a farm that's gonna pop up over here and of course we need someone to go in the farm so that we can get some food down which means we need to go to the neighbors Unfortunately, none of these guys are particularly uh, good farmers. An actress, a painter, and a teacher, or a prankster, a seamster, and a carpenter. Neither of whom are really the people we're looking for. So I think we'll just have to wait and see who else turns up. Because we could do with a decent farmer of some kind. We, you know, or someone who's at least somewhat capable of farming. Uh, but the next one should be in 16 days here. We should have a new character show up. Okay, do we have anyone better here? A baker, a mason, a lumberjack. Hunter seems to minor. Is either of Sigisbert or Arthurus any good at actual... No, they're not. But they're both man of the evenings. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, they're both lumberjack men of the evenings. How about that? Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait one more. We'll wait one more cycle here to see if we can get a new to get someone like a farmer. 
If not, we might just have to choose someone. Because otherwise people will start to have issues with their happiness if they don't, you know, get food, understandably. In the meantime, though, we can probably see if we can upgrade the lodge slightly. Because we're always going to need wood. So we might well upgrade the Blue Axe Lodge at some point. I think for the time being we're okay, though. Uh, we do need... We do need some farmers, that's for sure. Blacksmith, Mason Guard, Merchant, uh, Taste and Butcher. Right, what do we actually need for a farmer? Because we can kind of train someone into it. They want nature, strength. Someone with nature and strength. Do we have that here? Uh, strength is one, so you're not going to be really good with it, that's for sure. She wants to become stronger, that's also interesting. Because she's not very strong at the moment. What about you? You're strong. And we may well we may well put you on to something else soon. You're lazy though, it's not ideal. It's increased production time. And you're so greedy. Uh, I think I'm just going to wait. <laughs> it's not ideal, but I'm going to wait one more cycle here. To see if we can get something new. Uh, Sigisbert and Arthurus have been chatting for hours at the inn. Suddenly Arthurus poured his beer on Sigisbert, completely soaking the poor soul. Um, interesting. I think Sigisbert will laugh? I think Sigisbert laughed merrily at his clumsiness. Arthurus apologised with a smile. Covered in sticky beer, Sigisbert offered him a place to come to take a bath. Ooh, look at you, charmed. That's more affection, that's more chance for baby. Excellent. I don't know if we're expecting one just yet, but we can have a look. Um, we can also build a hunter's cabin. Well, hang on. Pause, 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 pause. Before we... Was there a hunter here? No, that was the previous group. So if we see a hunter or a farmer, we will pick them up. In the meantime, we'll, we will build... We'll get the hunter's cabin built, I think. And then we just need to find people to put inside it. Because right now we aren't finding many good people. Because <laughs> Merchant, none of these guys are particularly useful for our purposes. Oh, hello. I think we have our first baby. <gasps> baby Hubert. Hubert Lightfoot. Wonderful name. Hubert is energetic, strong and nimble. And potential is going to be possibly a seamster, a croupier or a livestock farmer. So maybe we can put Hubert to be an apprentice for a livestock farmer? That might be the best. Oh, look at those stats. Goodness me, Hubert, you're an absolute beast already at the age of grand old age of zero. So there we go, the Lightfoot family. Um, probably not destined to follow his, fa his um, two fathers as a lumberjack, but you never know. Okay, who do we have here? We have uh, Jack, and we, or Jack, and we have Rose. Merchant, croupier... Innkeeper, miner, butcher. Do we need butchers? For Do we need butchers? No, we need hunters. We are really not getting the people we need. Goodness me. So, what can we use any of these people potentially? None of these guys are too what I need. But I'm going to take Rose. Because I. She's a coward and weak, but she's also hardworking and she's proud. So I think I will recruit Rose. Because uh, my hope is that even though Rose may not be a perfect fit, in the Hunter's Cabin she might be able to do something. She's got she's got two and a half stars. She'll be able to produce some stuff here and I'm hoping we'll be able to get her a partner. Rose here. Get her a partner, and then we'll see uh, who we can find. Hopefully, a farmer, a rat trainer. Goodness me, there's some very <laughs> um, tough jobs here. Uh, I don't think Bruno here is going to be a good mix, so we'll keep going. Ah, now this is better. Sigrid, she's a farmer. They both love kittens, though they both dislike public executions. See, I told you public executions comes up a lot. Rose, welcome aboard. Um, I think they are, <laughs> I think they like dancing, they do, wonderful, it's one heart, 
and oh, they love the neighborhood's cute little kittens, absolutely. And ooh, I think they like gossip. Uh, Sigrid doesn't like gossip. Okay, never mind. Two, two out of three is not bad. Trying to memorise it all is a little bit tough sometimes. Uh, and they're going to get married. That being said, we should probably get them a house because they're actually currently homeless. And we will put Rose in there. The Baden family, wonderful. And sadly, Rose and Sigrid will not be able to work together because we need someone in the farm. Sigrid can do a damn good job in here. Wonderful. So the aim of this game is to create a like royal household for a castle, but that's going to be a long way off. There's a lot of things we need to do before we're able to build a castle. But as you, you may have seen at the end of the demo, we got to the castle, but we didn't get further than that. And we just need to gain as much prestige as possible. There's a lot of other things I haven't seen yet. Before. Gambling dens, ballrooms, just banquets. So, you know, not all these buildings are in the demo, so this will be really cool to see. Lots of cool things. I'm guessing because we have barracks and kind of men of the evenings, lady of the evenings, it looks like there might be some more things that we are yet to experience, which will be cool. So the farm, the, hum the Lumberjacks Lodge and the Hunting Cabin are all on their way. Excellent. And we need to build a Mason's Workshop. That's the next one we can build, I believe. And there we go, Mason's Workshop. That's going to get us stone. It costs a little bit of wood, but that's okay. Which means we probably need another person. Ooh, we actually have a Huntress here. Or a Fisherman. I'm going to take Sabine here. She's a little bit older. I'm going to recruit her because she could be an excellent Huntress. And could actually replace Rose here, should Rose be okay with doing something else. Because eventually we'll probably want her as an innkeeper or a livestock farmer. We'll probably switch out Rose for the time being. And Sabine can go in here and probably produce a little bit more. Oh, hang on. Uh, Arthurus Lancelot and Sigrid Ulrich have now met and shared the following relationship acquaintance. Okay, so they've got a potentially positive relationship, that's good. Whether they will have a relationship is another question. Now, Rose is not going to be good as a mason, so we definitely don't want to do that. I realised that I probably cut Rose off right as she was about to uh, go in and finish the Hunter's Cabin, but that's okay. Uh, when we have a little bit more wood, we'll probably just put, pop her back into Hunter's Cabin for the time being. Um, can we, first of all, build a house for Sabine, I think? So that she's not at least homeless. And she does have a job, which is good, but she is single. So we could probably do with getting her a partner. And let's do that now. We would try, like to try find a mason or something similar. It's going to have to be for the surroundings. Uh, a teacher, a rat trainer, a priest. They are pretty similar in terms of likes, but I don't think I particularly need any of them at the moment. Taster, innkeeper, blacksmith. You're a miner, that's good. And a hunter and a fisherman, all of which are useful skills. But my concern is they, are, they don't actually really like each other, so we're going to have to keep going. Keep going until we find someone who we think is worthwhile. Hey, I mean, you get Milo as another farmer, it's not bad at all. They both like dancing and feasting. Yeah, Milo and Sabine. Not who what I initially thought we were going good for. I was going to look for a mason, but it's not a problem if we don't. You have an excellent, some excellent facial hair, sir, by the way. Uh, I think you talk about gossip. They both thoroughly enjoy gossip as long as the rumours are not about them. Fair enough. And I think they both are dancing as well. What a coincidence, Milo happens to be an expert in Carole, a stampy and Tarantella. He'll be delighted to see, he'll be delighted to be Sabine's dancing partner. And I think they like food. Yes, they do. They like food more than kittens. 
this is our first perfect match we've had. In terms of um, kind of our love meter, which means there's an increased chance of a baby. Wonderful. We'll get them in. Congratulations. And we will probably put them in. We'll expand both the farm and the hunter's cabin, so we have enough production coming through. I'm just going to upgrade. I think I'm going to upgrade the wood production, so we just get more bang for our buck each time. So it's taking a little bit of while for that to come through, so we'll speed up. And here we go, now we're getting a good amount of wood coming in. This hunter's cabin can expand, and Rose is a decent hunter, so she can go in here. And... Oh, hang on, what have we got here? Uh, Arthurus and Sigurd are now in love. Oh, wonderful. Okay, Milo needs a job. We're going to put Milo in the farm. I don't think uh, Milo would be a very good mason. We can just have a look, but first there's something that's going on here. Oh goodness. Hang on, what's going on here? Pause. <laughs> so Sigismund and Arthurus are in love. But I did see something about um, having a little bit of frustration. A little bit of angriness going on. Sigismund, was it Sigismund or Arthurus who had it? Hmm. Interesting. Oh yes, here we go. Arthurus and Sigismund have now... Oh no, these are not the same people, I see. No, they are. Arthurus and Sigismund have met and developed the following thing, feeling frustrated. Why are you frustrated? What's going on? Okay, hang on. Pause. Pause, 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 pause. Why are you frustrated? Who are you frustrated with? Life. Hmm. Ah. Uh, morale is down, you're a young parent. Nights are short. It's understandable. Okay, so but though that's probably due to pass fairly soon, so that's not the end of the world. And Milo and Sabine are madly in love. I think we're going to have a another child from them pretty soon. Or a, a first child from them pretty soon, I should say. We'll speed time, thing, we'll speed time along here. Uh, do we have a mason here? We don't know. We'll just keep an eye on that. See if we have anyone there we need. I'm going to unlock this. And for now, Milo can pop in and become a second farmer. Because we always need food in the village, that's for sure. And having the ability to produce excess would be useful. Uh, there's another farmer, a lumberjack and man in the evening. There's a lot of um, kind of <laughs> evening people at the moment. <laughs> Okay, we don't need anything here at the... We don't need any from these people at the moment. What's the next build, I wonder? Uh, it's the mine. For that, we need stone. We need wood. So really, we need our mason. Up until then, we can't do a huge amount more. Okay, they're feeling inspired now. This is getting better. So they get a little bit of bonus there. Thankfully, the young parent will pass fairly soon. I'm glad to see uh, Sabine and Milo doing well. Uh, so Milo doesn't know what to do with his life and feels lost. Whatever he does, think, seek advice, look for inspiration, or even turn to faith. Everything feels like everything else. What should he do? Make random decisions with dice and cards, or do nothing and wait for something to happen? Ooh, I'm not sure I want him to become a gambler. Presently surprise trait, or he can become ascetic, devout, and joyful. I'm concerned that if we go down... No, let's do that one. Mine is on a passion for gambling. Oh dear. Betting, dice cards, knuckle bones and other such games holds serious secrets for him. He made himself a solid reputation in the business even though his luck varies rather wildly. I'm concerned that Milo's going to fall down a rabbit hole of gambling. Incidentally, they've got a baby on the way. Wonderful. That's good to see. Uh, but we do, however, need a mason. Builder, jeweler, farmer. No one there. Would you... Could you be a decent mine? I don't think you would be. You're a mean coward. 
Goodness me, you sound like a real catch. Oh, and we had some new neighbours come in there. Prankster, that's not a job. <laughs> Fisherwoman and Huntress. Joseph, Grace, what about Joseph? Okay, what do we need for a mason to be a good mason? Let's just pull things down a little bit. Uh, Sabine and Rose have met and are not friends with each other, really. Insignificant. <gasps> but we have a new baby. And it's Emmalina. Maybe it's Sabine and Milo. Wonderful. Well, of course, we can influence these things, but that costs us hearts. And we only have so many. So we've got to use them wisely. Very wisely indeed. Uh, we were having a look at the Mason's Workshop. They need athletics and dexterity. Probably just dexterity would be the main thing. You've got decent dexterity at seven. You could be a decent mason. And you're romantic, humble, nimble. What about Josef here? Hmm. I'm going to take Grace and hope that she'll be okay with, a, with being a mason. Oh, she's not great. <laughs> She's only going to produce two every, what, half a year? <laughs> it's not great. So instead, let's get her into a house. Let's try get a, a partner. Preferably someone who's a little bit better at... <laughs> Preferably someone who's a little bit better at doing certain things, such as masonry. Now, Grace. Uh, first of all, actually, before we do that, what's our next building? Build a sewing workshop. Wonderful. Which means we need a seamstress. If we see a seamstress or seamster, I can go with Grace. We'll have to see. Uh, you're not a good match. You're not a good match. You're an interesting match. An excellent match. You'd be good as a king. Goodness me. Pierre. That's probably not how you say your name, but I'm going to say Pierre nonetheless. That being said... I don't think we need a king at the moment, I'm afraid. We're not there yet, so keep on going. Of course, these all cost hearts, so we can't keep going forever. A thief, a jeweler man of the evening. We rat trainer, a thief, a builder. Croupier, thief, builder. Farmer, gatherer, merchant. Teacher, taster, bard. Bard, assassin, knight. Butcher, knight, baker. Knight, assassin, and bard. We're having a little bit of trouble getting who we need. Aww. There's a mason. That would do. How on earth do I say your name? Lorelli. That's a nice name. Um, I think we will get you two together. So they both have the countryside. They like dancing, cuddles, poetry and painting. Okay. Uh, I think they're going to criticise the work of the realm's best painter. No, I got that one wrong. <laughs> um, and... I think they like meditation. Oh my goodness, this date is not going well at all. And... they I know they like the lakes, the lakeside. But they're a good match anyway, even if I screwed up the date somewhat. Oh yeah, it's a match. Their love meter is pretty low, but that will increase uh, over time. So, Grace and Lorelli, wonderful. Congratulations on your marriage, and unfortunately, Grace, you're immediately being replaced by your wife <laughs> in the role. Just because it's a lot better and a lot quicker. Now, we probably need to find a role for Grace here. She's a prankster, she's a huntress, she's a fisherwoman. We can build the sewing workshop. We'll do that, and we'll see if Grace is any good at sewing. She's decent at sewing, actually. We can produce some clothes for them. And this allows for the increase in their citizenship level. The more citizenship levels they have, I believe the more things they, the more prestige they produce. So it's all about that efficiency. It's all about getting it as best as we possibly can. So now we have four families. Grace and Norelli. 
Sabine and Milo with their little baby Emelina, Rose and Sigrid, and Sigisbert and Arthurus, who Sigisbert is probably going to die pretty early on. Because he's got this uh, frail, fragile health. I don't know if that's minus 50 years or just minus 50 in general. He's still sturdy at the moment, but that's going to decrease as time goes down. He's at 3392, whereas someone like Arthurus is actually even lower. <laughs> Goodness me. And there I thought Sigisbert was the unhealthy one. Never mind. Oh dear. Lorelli and Grace have uh, got a loveless marriage. Come on, guys, we can do better than this, surely. Can we get them to do something with each other? Spend time with each other. Here we go. I need you. I need you to to like each other again. It's going to increase production time, and the morale goes down as well. I wonder if that's because I messed up the date. Come on. I'm going to have to leave that for now. Lorelli and Grace are now presently surprised. Wonderful. Another, another infatuated. Wonderful. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Good. They're now infatuated. We just needed to get them to spend time with each other. Wonderful. Any chance of a baby on the way? There's a whole weird, like inheritance scheme and everything as well. There's a, this is quite an in-depth game where things go quite crazy. What's going on here? So Emelina and Lorelli have met and they don't really like each other. I'm not really surprised. I mean, different families, you know. So the Bauer family, the Wallace family, the Baden family, and the Loafer family. Wonderful. Um... You're actually producing clothes. I don't know if you're producing enough clothes at the moment. You're producing enough for now, but the higher the villagers get in terms of their needs, things will change. I, I want to increase the farm, but for that I need gold, and we don't get that much gold per year. Because we only get some from Artisans. I think we'll get more when we get more buildings. But for the time being, we're just going to have to deal with what we have. Okay, so we've got the Mason's Workshop, we've got all of those. What do we need for the Fisherman's Hut? We need a mine. For the mine we need quite a bit of stone, gotcha. What about the Transform Resources? We've got the first sewing workshop down, bakery. We need some wheat. Ah, that's probably from the farm. Yeah, we can, if we get 110 gold we can make this place multi-purpose, which we'll do, because that'll be a useful thing to get done. Oh, Lorelli and Grace are back at having a loveless marriage. Grace and Lorelli are not doing well with each other. I can't afford to spend the hearts, really. Come on, guys, you can do better than this, surely. If I go to the houses, how are the Bauer family doing in terms of babies? Or chance of a baby? 6%? <laughs> hopefully the um... Hopefully something will happen, because I, I don't want to force Destiny, because that's a lot of hearts to spend, that's for sure. Okay, back to the village, let's see what's going on here. Oh no, no no no. Already? So... Sigisbert has a crush on... Chloe, so on Grace. <sighs> there we go. We've got our first, um, our first kind of slight hint of people not being completely faithful to their partner. Uh, but you know, Grace is in a loveless marriage, so it's not. It's kind of understandable. But I'm surprised she's found um, the crush with Sigisbert of all people. I don't think they were that similar. 
The singer's foot is poetry, muscles, and drooling. Whereas this, these are completely different, so I don't know. That being said, Arthurus and uh, Sabine and sorry, Arthurus and Sigisbert are madly in love, and Milo and Sabine are also infatuated with each other. Wonderful. So that's going well. It's just um, Grace and Sigisbert, it seems. As soon as we get enough gold, we're going to use it wisely. There's a seamstress, but we already have enough clothing for the time being. We could get a second slot down. Can we get you before you run away? It's 40 gold. It's 40 gold, which we don't necessarily want to be spending for the time being. Oh, I just... Uh, we can oh, that's cool, I didn't know we could propose new candidates there. Okay, we're, we're going to leave them alone, that's okay for the time being. Uh, Rose and Sabine do not like each other. Interesting, I wonder why that is. Is there a reason for that or not, I wonder? Hmm. Oh my, no, not back again. I don't want to send you... I'm going to say you just need to wait. Milo waited, not knowing why or what for. Of course, nothing happened, but he eventually had a revelation. Seeking a specific path through a sea of certainty is futile. If you really wish to move forward, any path will do, and as such, he cannot get lost. This unexpected wisdom became his way of life. Milo, is everything okay? He's joyful. He's proud. He's devout. He's a little bit lazy. But... Morale is doing well. Excellent. How are we doing on all our things? We have an abundance of everything at the moment, which is wonderful. What do we need to build next? We need some wheat, but that means we need to wait for some gold. So let's speed up time while we do that. I think a, uh, a trader does come around every now and then. But up until that point, we just have to wait. Sigrid and Lorelli. Have also got a crush on each other. Grace and Norelli are not having a good marriage. <laughs> they are not having a good marriage in the slightest. Ah, I see we don't have any more gold at the moment coming in. It's a little bit of a problem. We can't send. We've got plenty of wood coming in, but we can't do anything with that at the moment. So, what can we do to get more? gold. We did have some artisans but we didn't put them in artisan jobs. That's the problem. So we need to find a way forward there. I don't want to have accidentally softlocked myself here. <laughs> we do have mines coming in but I think they're very slow. How much stone have we got? We've got 15. So it's coming in but slowly. That's for sure. Oh, interesting because they're working in the the mine Lorelei's life expectancy is actually down but her athletics go up which does make sense we do really need some more gold coming in because we've got plenty of wood we definitely don't need any more wood for the time being that's for sure can we get the traders to come in or can we get an artisan oh we're getting 12 coming in now that's good aha hang on Hubert has grown up so now that we've got a child of a certain age, we can put them into a profession. A seamster, a croupier, or a livestock farmer. Well, we have a, seams we have a seamster area in the sewing workshop. And I believe we can get some mentorships down. So we can put Huber down here. There's a 10% chance that Grace gets stressed, but she'll be able to train Hubert to take over from her. So Hubert will trade to become a seamster and his skill will get better and better hopefully. Excellent and it also means I believe we get a little bit of extra uh, I don't know if we actually get any additional clothes per year we don't, no, but still it'll be useful to increase production later down the line with a, with a young well-trained 
Nipper ready to take over the reins. <laughs> okay. Who's our artisan, by the way? I'm intrigued. Because that means it's going to be someone who is... Ah, uh, Grace is the artisan. Ah, uh, because she's a seamstress. I believe that's an artisan job. So she's a little bit of a higher... She's kind of a bit more of a higher tier class of citizen. But I believe if she doesn't get her needs fulfilled, then that will drop back down. So we need to get as much money from her as possible, because it's going to be a little bit of a time yet before we can get things sorted. Sigrid and Han, let's go back to the family. Bring this back out and take off the filter. Uh, Sigrid and Rose. Okay, they're infatuated, that's fine. Loretta and Grace are now infatuated, so they seem to have a really tough relationship with each other. Okay, let's get down the mine. Can we get down the mine? We don't really have the money to get down the mine. Hmm. It's a big cost. It's a big, big cost. And we'll get a little bit of money from our artisans, but the problem is if we don't put them in into an artisan job, they're just going to go back to how they were. We may as well build the mine and get that ready before we have the right person ready and waiting for us. Uh, we do need some meat. Now, we, I'm trying to remember how we get meat. Is that from the... That's from the hunter's cabin, surely. That produces that. Okay, yeah, for, again, for that, we need gold. So, really, we're... Currently, uh, Chloe's bringing all our gold for us at the moment. Ooh, dirty talk. Uh, Sigurd is well known in the village for a sharp tongue and flowery vocabulary. Loretti has got a strict education. Catholic nun. Finds her notorious vulgarity quite exciting, but doesn't know how to approach her. Um, approach her with subtlety. I don't think she really does subtlety, to be honest. Um, I don't know if bothered trait is either the positive bothered or the annoyed bothered. No, I'm going to go for... Oh, hang on. Sigurd and Relly. Oh, they're not... Oh. They're not partners, are they? Because <laughs> the Relly is married to Chloe. Sigurd and the Relly evolved from Crush level 1 and 3 to Romantic... Oh my goodness, no. Evolved from Crush level 1 to Romantic Relationship. Go for it heads on and hope for the best. Loretta utters a distasteful catchphrase which should make Sigurd's heart sink, but the delivery was so lame compared to Sigurd's blistering retort, back full of memory insults, and neither person will soon forget it. It was not the expected result, but Loretta is pleased nonetheless. Talk dirty to me. Wonderful. Lancelot and Lightfoot are, uh, are impressed with each other. That's nice. Oh, goodness me, everything's happening. Pause, 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 pause. <laughs> so, uh, the Bower has got a new baby. So it's not a completely loveless marriage. Uh, Bridget. Bridget is obstinate, has a club foot, and but is strong. Very strong. A butch Potential for a butcher, a knight, or a miner. Get the child down the mines, we're like Victorians. Get the children down the mines. So now, Lorelli, you've got a crush on Sigrid, and Grace has got a crush on Sigisbert. <laughs> as long as you two can, like, agree to just have your own, like, side crushes, then everything should be okay. But hey ho, I'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> now, we probably want to get meat before we get anything else, because we actually have a need for that. I don't want to lose our artisans. I don't know who needs the meat, but someone needs the meat. I think it's a level... F is that a level 4 ability? I think it is for meat. Yes, it's level 4. And that's actually going to lower life expectancy should we not get meat satisfied, so that's arguably the first thing that we need to do. So we'll speed up time here. And we really need to grab enough cold. 
to be able to introduce meat into the uh, into the hunter's cabin here. We just need a few bits more gold, two more gold, then we should be there. Okay, here we go, come on. Nearly there, nearly there. We do have some neighbours we could hire. Nothing there particularly is that useful, I don't think. But that's okay. 110, so hunter's cabin. We can now introduce a multi-purpose resource. It will now produce 10 meat per kind of production cycle. So in the meantime, we have got something pretty tough going on here. Rose and, C Rose and Sabine are now rivals. Why are Rose and Sabine rivals? What's going on here? So they've got enmity, absolutely. So now, I believe they need a weapon. <laughs> Or they, they 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 want a weapon anyway. I'm not entirely sure why they're so angry with each other. So they're not. So Rose and Sigrid are married. Sabine and there's no issue with Sabine and Milo. Interesting. No adultery just yet, but there's certainly a lot of things going on. That's for sure. Goodness me. And Emelina has come at the age of six. Let's see what Emelina needs. Or what we think Emelina can do. She's a bard, a healer, a thief. None of those particularly what we were hoping for. In terms of kind of her traits. She's weak, she's frail. And she's not particularly bright. She sounds like a perfect match for Sigisbert, who is simple and frail as well. Life expectancy is healthy for you. Some people are healthy, some people are sturdy. <laughs> Emelina, hopefully is... Okay, Emelina is sturdy still, but her vitality is not great. Now what can we put Emelina in? Bard, healer, a thief. Could we put you in? We've already got someone apprenticing in there. We don't really have a great apprentice place for you to go at the moment. Not really at all, to be honest. Okay, the next thing we want to focus on is some more probably wheat. We're now getting a little bit more gold. We've got a second artisan. Who's the second artisan, by the way? Second artisan is Hubert. Ah, because, yes. Because Hubert is being an apprentice seamster, that allows for them to become a artisan, because it's an, art it's an artisan job. Excellent. So we need some fish and we need some bread. These are both insufficient and it's not answering enough people's needs. But I think we'll probably leave things off there. I'm really happy to be back in Lake Park Oh, hang on, before we leave. Rose is bored. She's already finished a long list of tasks of the day and is wondering how to keep herself busy. Inactivity happens to be extremely distressing. She needs to find something useful to do. She doesn't want to go insane. She's hardworking and proud, that makes sense. Help in the fields, we get a little bit of extra uh, a little bit of extra wheat and some wood, or we can mend the road, get a little bit of stone, a little bit of fish. I'm actually going to take that one, because that will help us out a little bit more, because stone's a bit slow to gather, and we don't have any fish at the moment, and people need fish. Rose believed it was high time to fix the roads through cobblestones. Grabbing a shovel and a pickaxe, she set about readjusting all the stones in an acceptable way. She also took the time to fish in the river along the road. Now that's getting two birds on the stone. Amazing energy. Wonderful. So yes, I'm really happy to be back in Lake Virgo Legacies. This will be the new series on the channel as L.A. Noir is coming towards close. L.A. Noir has only maybe one, I think, uh, one or two more weeks left of content to go. It's about four more episodes and that's done. And this is not a particularly long game anyway, although we may well yet do a couple of live streams or challenge runs or something similar. 
in the meantime thank you so much for watching take care bye bye